I fell in love with crayons again about a year and a half ago at a wonderful steak restaurant in Simrep, wonderful glass of wine, the white paper tablecloth and the crayons. I had fun. I just did all these lotus flowers. They're absolutely beautiful, stunning. So I decided, how can I make crayon? So I've um, worked out a technique, so follow me today and we'll do that. So what you'll need is some wax. This here I'm using is it's a local Cambodian beeswax. It smells so good you could eat it, but you also need tin can, an old tin can. So this is good. And then you'll also need some, some ash. So with the ash I use, I use the ash from the lotus flower. Of course I do. With the ash, use anything you can burn. Use some paper, use some toilet paper. I think some people have a lot of that at the moment. I use the lotus flowers and these flowers have been offered at the temples. Thus, they are filled with every, everyone's gratitude. With the petals, I then burn these and make the ash. The next thing you'll have to do with the ash is grind it up. You need it as a powder. So if it's a charcoal, grind it, use a mortar and pestle. If it's the ash, you can just sieve it. Watch out for the dust, it gets everywhere. First thing you need to do is to melt the chocolate. Did I say chocolate? <laughs> One track mind. The first thing you need to do is to melt the wax. If it's grated, it doesn't take too long to melt. Don't want it too high of a heat, you don't want it to burn. Then you just add the ash, mix it up, and then you've created the basis of the crayon. Let it cool just a little bit, because you don't want it way boiling hot. But you need to pop it into a mold. This is a wonderful little ice block. You can get these wonderful little rectangular shapes here. Me, I prefer a very organic shape with my crayons. So I'm just using baking paper. Fold it like this, hold it with some clips. And then pour in your wax. It's hot. So just let it dry, it'll be fine. When it's dried, you can just peel it off. Look, then you have your little boat crayon. So the crayon is fantastic. It's a black crayon. It's got all the imperfections of all the ash that I've created. So it is very organic and it still smells. It still smells like that wonderful beeswax. Let me show you what I did that night in that wonderful restaurant. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This is made from an ash from the lotus. It's fun, it's organic, it's divine, it smells so good. It's very pliable. Depends what wax you use. <laughs> Don't use chocolate. It depends what wax you use. You can get a harder wax or um, whatever wax you want really and it, and it works really really well. So, but I, I prefer the beeswax. It's wonderful. It's good. So, here's another little tip to get some fantastic texture. Here we go. To get some great texture on your artwork, because it's wax, it'll melt again. And then you can get some stunning texture happening on your paintings. <laughs> hey, how's that? One of a homemade crayon lotus flowers, five of them. See you next week. A little bit.